Well, what are we going to do today? Well, I've been thinking that a lot of you want to start from the basics, right? So I thought I'd do the basics of Japanese black pine for novices. Uh, one of the problems that I have with this kind of program, sometimes it gets a little boring, but I think there's just enough of you just getting started that we want to know the basic fundamentals. So let's get started with that project. Okay, I could rotate it and it really doesn't matter. It doesn't have any difference. It's basically, well, there's a slight curvature, but um, basically it's just a seedling. Okay, this came out of the seabed. I cut the tap root like we talked about in the past and then put it in here. And it's been about a, a year's growth. How we tell is, see right here? So it hasn't got into the next season. Next season is coming out here. This will come out and there'll be a cluster around here like that. Okay, so uh, what do we do? Well, we go, wow, here it is. We should fertilize these heavy, not to the point where it's gonna kill it, but uh, read the package and get real close to the maximum amount and we'll get this to grow as much as we can before we get started. So um, if it was in your pet stage, this is your puppy, newborn puppy. You can't even start the training yet. Having said that, I see people that wire these and then try to put movement in it, which is okay. But if you really want movement, then what you could do is just tie it like this, right? But I think at this age, just leave it alone. Okay, this one here, it has a little bit more growth on it. So you could kind of spin and it does look different from different all sides. Now, uh, this is probably our first branch keeper and then you uh, dip down like this. This one here is just a sacrifice branch. Don't think we'll need it unless uh, we end up in the future cutting it off here and then go for something dramatic. But other than that, anything that's lower, just keep it on to help fatten that area. I wish we had some little growth down here, but we don't. So we're going to keep that. And then up here, uh, there's a good side branch. And then we have our current apex. And here we'll, we will soon remove the center candle and then take one of the side shoots and then make it go like that. Once again, you could wire it or you could put it in here and then do that for movement, right? But I think it's a little too early for this. I, I like to wait maybe one more season before I get around to doing that. Oh, this is probably six, maybe going on to seven years, something like that. Now it has some girth and then you can see that the movement was created with the stick. It's probably, this is going to be the front. Okay, let's review what we do when we are uh, using stick. So you take the stick and you drive it into the ground so it's nice and steady and solid, right? And then you, you have to tie it really tight at the base. And then as you go up, you can force the branches to get the shape you want. Okay? And these green ties are really good for this because, uh, well, the jute will work because it'll deteriorate before it does damage, but these stretch. I've 
looking at this and I'm thinking that probably I did this about two years ago, maybe even a little bit longer because now it's really tight. So what I'm going to do is to go ahead and take it off, see if it's holding or not. But that's how you use the stick method to get this movement in the trunk. So I'm just going to cut it loose. Like that, and then cut this loose. And cut this loose. And when you remove it, People go, wow, how do you get all that movement in there? It definitely wasn't with a wire, that's for sure. So, I'm looking at this. It's not bad. But I wonder if it's better if I cut this off and go with this. See from here to here? Not much taper, right? See, from here and here, this and this looks very similar in terms of thickness or the taper. So if I cut it here, then it moves again, right? And then create a new apex up that way. That and then this is most likely the front remember we were talking about the concave it has the concave here this branch is a sacrifice we don't need this at all but i don't need to take it off right away either right so i'll keep that but the more i look the more I'm thinking I should go ahead and take this off because now the growth isn't coming and you know uh, pines will tend to put most of the energy up on top so it should catch up right away okay so let's do it do you want it to look okay now or great in the future it looks okay now most people won't even uh, complain about that but I'm more particular see and then look at we have a side branch right here where we want the branch so I'm quite happy with that decision okay but this one here is bugging me a little bit what I could do is to tone it down so that it's there but not so vigorous that it kind of takes away. That helps somewhat. But in terms of the line, yeah, okay. Uh, a little bit of side note uh, on the pines if you have these very active green you cut it here you'll re-sprout just visualize there's a bud at the base of every one of these now if it was already gone like this and you cut it right here this will just die back so I'm thinking this one here, I still think it's too big. I know it's a sacrifice branch, but it kind of hinders from the overall presentation. So I'm thinking of cutting it here. And there's still greenery, so it should repop. Okay, so you can see what I was thinking, right? Now, over here, we got this really nice branch that should become the branch of the future. But for now, I'm gonna keep this. 
I'll probably keep it more like this and hopefully you'll transfer the energy here then I could take this off. So it's never about just a simple solution for now. You do something with the anticipation of the next move, right? So anyway, I think over here probably would look better if it was pulled. See this angle, right? In the future, I could plan it like this or take the time right now and pull it down. Then we don't have to deal with this in the future. So by doing these uh, steps while it's still the material, then you don't have to wire much at all. Okay, review. Uh, tie it at the base and then you take this and what you should do is pull down slightly more than you want because there's a tendency for it to spring back up. See like that, right? Uh, that probably was not necessary because I have a good one here and good one here. Well, but sometimes bad things happen so it's good to have this option. Uh, certain times you don't want to leave too much option because you end up with unnecessary growth but at this stage I think having these three options right now is better than just cutting it off. Uh, I've got a problem over here that's going across. I think in the future I'll just cut that off and then this one may or may not stay and of course this one here. So anyway i think this is about it for now so this is very basic right and this is oh about getting on to seven year kind of uh, age the tree right here versus up here it's starting to form a bark they say uh, it'll start to form the bark about seven years. So it's getting to that point where it's six and seven years old for this part here. And then these are much younger. But I'm, I think I start to like this tree now. So this one and this one has to do the work to fatten this area so that this transition or this uh, taper is a little more realistic right right now it's sort of sort of similar uh, worst comes to worst I could cut that off and go like that but I think it was kind of extreme for this tree at this stage of development because there's plenty of way to get around to fixing that but anyway uh, hopefully these very basic one is helping some of you that's getting started. Some of you that have been in the bonsai for a while, probably somewhat boring. Well, you know, as a presenter, we want to do things that are going to be kind of striking. But, but what people need, especially when they start out, is some of this very basic stuff that could be somewhat boring. Well, anyway, I'm trying to find a balance between showing off my talent and some of the very basic stuff you have to know. So this has been uh, very basic for you just getting started in bonsai uh, and the, the black pine. Uh, good bonsai, good black pine takes minimum of 20 years and then if you want greatness, uh, maybe more like 40. So you better learn to stay healthy. <laughs> uh, I'm trying my best too. Um, I wasn't going to get Jackie, uh, but she came to me. And one of the things that um, I was reading in my AARP magazine was that if you have a pet, you tend to live longer. So I'm doing everything I can to stay healthy longer including eating my dark chocolate. <laughs> anyway, this is Hero saying goodbye. I'll see you again real soon.